Hi everyone, look what the mailman just dropped off. It's the September Art Snacks Plus box and I'm super excited to open it. It actually feels very heavy. Um, lately I've been excited to receive it, not necessarily for the supplies in it, but mostly to find out what kind of uh, paper or surface is included. So this month, oh that's so cool. Um, this month this is what we're getting we are getting a canson mixed media art boards um a block it's a block i already have one but it's a watercolor one and i really like it because it's very thick although it's not like an actual real block um because it's an art board it's very thick and you can just put, throw a lot at it uh, it takes water really well. So I'll, I'll, I'll show you compared to my watercolor block. I know I keep on calling it a block. It's not a block, but it just feels like a block because it's heavy and it's thick and all. But um, the only difference really is the texture. This has a, um, it's a, it's cold press. So it has a, a little bit more of a texture, but this one also has one. Uh, and I've been uh, I've been using that for um, gouache as well. It works very well. This is a little bit warped, but just a little bit. So hopefully with water and all, it'll get better. So that's exciting. There's ten boards. It's eight by ten, and it says it's textured. It's good for acrylic, watercolor, pencil, uh, pen and pencil. Um, I'd say it would be great for also gouache or casein or mixed media, like it says, anything goes. Now, in my little bubbly pouch, let's see what we have in here. So this is, I think, the extra, oh wait, there's two of them. I'm not sure. Let's see. First we get the Laffy Taffy. My daughter is going to be so upset because she loves Laffy Taffies, but she just got braces. She's not allowed to eat those. Maybe I shouldn't show her. I'll give her, I'll give it to her brother. So for the uh, extra item in this box, it's the water brush by Marvy. And let's see, it's a large tip. And it's just a water brush. Like all the gazillion water brushes I already have. I don't know if there's anything special with for it. I don't think so. Maybe I can fill it up with ink this time. Never have before. I know it's possible. And maybe I should start doing that with my water brushes because I have so many. You unscrew the cap or just uh, pull really hard. All right, so that's it. Water brush. <laughs> All right, then we have uh, a Della Rowney Aquafine ink bottle in yellow, cadmium yellow hue. It's watercolor ink. Oh, nice. And let's see what we've got in this little package. Probably some brushes, or at least one. And maybe mixed media stuff, because it's mixed media paper. So here we go, we've got a Snap by Princeton, a Filbert, oh good, it's number eight. I like the snap brushes. They're nice. They're they're usually pretty cheap, but they do they do the job. Oh, camouflage sticker, pretty cool. And then we have a 
midline and a midline brush by Zebra. And it's funny because it's all printed like it's not very straight, it's all slanted. It's weird. Uh, and the color is orange, as you can tell. It says it's uh, acid free and archival. Nice. I wonder if we can um, dilute it. Oh, wait, there's two tips. I didn't even see this. Whoa. Neato. All right. Oh, there's another one. And this one is red. Looks pink. Alrighty. And then we have a Le Pen Flex made in Japan. It's by Marvi. And Oriental Blue. Oh, it's so tiny. And last but not least, another crank marker. It's an acrylic paint marker. And uh, let's see. It has a fine nib. I wonder if it has. No, same on both sides. Um. Uh, Excellent for use on paper and painted surfaces. Three millimeter nib is best for smooth surfaces. Okay. I wonder if it's uh, the same as some we've received before. Because we have received quite a few crank markers, but all different so far. So maybe it's another one. So let's see. Yeah, in the Art Snacks Plus box, you will get the mixed media artboard paper here and the water brush, which I might fill up with this actually. Very good idea. And in the regular Art Snacks box, you will get all of this. Oh, wait, there's the prompt also. I always forget it. So this time it says, find your favorite work of art from a museum, a book, or maybe even someone's Instagram and recreate it using your non-dominant hand. Good luck. Oh boy. Doing it with my left hand. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So I checked with my crank markers and this one is definitely not one that we have received before. It's a smaller tip and so yeah, it's different. And I think the other ones weren't acrylic paint in it. I'm not quite sure, but anyway, uh, it took me quite a while to get it started. But once I did, I found out that it was a beautiful blue paint and I liked it. So since it's acrylic, as long as the paint isn't dry, then you can wet it with water and dilute it and uh, use it almost as watercolor. But just make sure you clean your brush really well. Now for the zebra markers, um, the orange one is very neon, very fluorescent. And I'm not sure uh, how light fast that would be. Probably not because it's a man created color. But they're okay colors. They're very pale and not very pigmented. Uh, they do dilute with water. But I found out later on with uh, my other paper that it really, once it, it's dry, it doesn't dilute as well. Or maybe it depends on the paper you use. I'm not sure. Um, that was my least favorite uh, supplies from the box. The Marvi pen is really nice. It's like a Fude brush. Um, it's a very, very little one, though. I've never seen one like this before. And it's super flexible. You can uh, create super, super small lines, super fine lines, and uh, very thick ones as well. And it's very dilutable, if you can say that. Um, yeah, you can just like almost erase the whole writing uh, with water. The Dale Rowney watercolor ink is really beautiful. The yellow that I got is very bright. Again, it's watercolor, so it's very uh, easily uh, diluted. And I decided to actually put some in my water brush 
and add a bit of water as well. I should have put a bit more water so that it wouldn't be so bright. But anyway, it works very well. The water brush works fine, just like all the water brushes I've had so far. But I'm glad I decided to put the watercolor in it because it was fun to use later on uh, for my drawing. Also, since it's watercolor, it's transparent, so you can actually add layers over the the markers and will not necessarily mix the colors. Like with the acrylic marker, it won't mix the colors, but you will it will turn the blue into green. But if you use the watercolor over the zebra markers, then it will actually mix it on the page, as long as the marker hasn't been dry for too long. So I did go ahead and use my left hand, my non-dominant hand, to do this piece. And I thought I had to find something that was not too detailed. And because I had a lot of um, red and yellows and stuff, I decided to go for one of Van Gogh's sunflowers paintings. So I started sketching with my left hand. And I was so distracted by trying to actually draw correct lines that I didn't even plan my composition. And as I was done with the flowers, I realized that there was not much room for the vase. So I had to erase everything and start again. So yeah, I w it just really distracted me. Uh, and, and I really had to focus on proportions and all that. But in the end, I was able to do something that sort of resembled the original painting. Now, as far as recreating the painting, it's hard to do when you don't have oil and you're just using mixed media like that. But it was really fun actually trying to figure out how to use these supplies together to do something, to, to get the colors that I did not have and to get something that looked like the original painting. Because I didn't want the background to be too dark, I decided to dilute the acrylic paint from the acrylic pen. And then I applied it almost like watercolor on the background with uneven marks all over the place. For the table, I realized that the red marker was really light. So I had to do a lot of layering for that to uh, pop a little bit more because it's just like all faded. I, I don't like it. To me, it kind of looks like a kid's marker because, just because, I mean, it's enjoyable. It's nice. I like the brush. I like both ends of the marker, but the ink is not very good in my opinion. So I just kind of like played around throughout the painting, trying to figure out how to reproduce uh, the, the sunflowers. And I mixed the ink from the Marvy pen with the yellow watercolor to get my green. It's definitely not the same green as on the painting, but that's all I had. So it doesn't really matter if when you reproduce something, when you're having fun and you have a limited amount of supplies, it doesn't matter if you get the exact same colors. You know, what matters is like to try to, re to do something that's close enough. And even if the color is on the same, it's okay. Could have done it all in pink and it, it would still be fun and, and pretty. So it, it was tricky to use my left hand. Um, but after after a while, it took me about two, two I think two hours to paint. Uh, but after a while, I, it just it just got easier and easier. Um, not as awkward as at the beginning. So uh, maybe I'll do that again sometime because I really enjoyed it. So anyway, um, if you guys received an Art Snacks Plus box, let me know if you decided to uh, do the challenge as well. And if so, what painting did you recreate? Um, I think it's too bad that the Art Snacks, the regular Art Snacks box doesn't have a challenge like that too. Although, you know, it makes you more free to figure out what you want to paint. And I haven't always used a prompt from the Art Snacks Plus box, but when it's inspiring, I think it's fun. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.